Today we are going to look at different stitches every beginner should know before you start your crocheting work or before your crocheting journey you need to know these stitches first of all we are going to start with a slip stitch you can either do it like this or you can also find a simpler way this is how i make my slip stitch that's our very first stitch today so with a slip stitch i make a chain from there so i'm going to how we make our chain and this is our, that is our second stitch we are going to start we make a chain so you yarn over and then you pull through your loop this is our chain So this is how we make a chain this is what i've made so you can make it as long as you want depending on what you want to make yes so from this very chain that i've made i'm going to make uh the third stitch and that is the single crochet from this very chain so you skip the first chain here and in the second one you insert your hook and then pull through you pull through both of them at once so what we are making now is called a single crochet so this is how we make it. Then you pull through this at once. You insert your hook in the chain. Then you're going to have two loops on the hook and then you pull through both of them. Again, you insert your chain in the hook. You have this and then you insert your, you pull through all of them. You insert and pull through. Let's do this keep doing it until you feel that you can do it with ease so what i'm making is a single crochet you can keep practicing so that your speed increases depending so we are the end when you reach the end and you're making a single crochet you chain one after chaining one you turn your work like this way and you're making a single and the next line of the single crochet you start from the very first chain don't skip any chain you start from the very first chain and then you keep on doing what you've been doing you insert your hook you pull through all the two loops at once let's do this I try to take you slow so this is our single crochet So with this, we are going also to make the next stitch, which is the half double crochet. And we are stitching, we are making two chains. This is one and two. For the half double crochet, we yarn over our hook. This is what we call yarning over, like this. Insert your hook in the very next stitch, like this. Then you pull through the three loops at once. Sorry. Yarn over, insert, pull through both all the three loops at once. Again, you yarn over, insert your hook, pull through all of them at once. Yarn over, insert your hook and pull through all the three at once. Yarn over, insert and pull through. Yarn over insert and pull through yarn over insert your hook pull through all of them you keep doing this you keep more practice because when you practice you're going to have perfection yarn over insert and pull through 
and over insert and pull through and over insert and pull through we keep doing this we are also going to make two lines of the half double crochet so that you can see the difference when we are done so with this we are going to make two chains instead of one one two after the two chains we are going again to have our half double crochet in the next loop yarn over you pull through all of them at once yarn over and pull through we keep doing this So after this one, we are done with our half double crochet and we are going to look at the next stitch. I think you can see the difference. The first ones were the single crochet, now we have the half double crochet. And now we are going to make double crochet. So we are chaining three. We already have one chain, two and three. Then we turn our work this way. You yarn over, you skip this first one and then from the second one, we are going to make a double crochet. You pull through the first two. Then the next two. Yarn over again. Insert your hook. This is what we are doing. Pull through the first two. Then the remaining two at once. Yarn over again. Insert your hook. You pull through the first two. And then the remaining two. Let's do this again. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Pull through the first two. And then the remaining two. Again. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Pull through the first and then the next yarn over insert your hook pull through the first and then the next let's keep doing this So we are at the end when you reach the end we are going to chain three again one two and three then you turn you skip the very first chain start from the second one and then you make you go back to our double crochet So we are done with our double crochet and this is how what we have so far so we are going to have the next one and we are going to have the triple double crochet 
for this we are going to make four chains one two three and four so when you reach here this first chain here the first four chains are representing the very first triple crochet so triple double crochet so you yarn over one and two you skip one two and then from the third one we have one two and three again you're going to yarn one two and the next one one two and three just do it again yarn over one two so you have two three loops on the hook then you insert your hook this way you first pull through the first two then you pull through the next two and then the remaining two just do it again one two insert your hook and pull through the first two the next two and then the remaining two just do it again one two insert pull through again and again let's do it again one two let's do it up to the end So you're taking the last one. So this is what we have for the treble double crochet. Then after this, we are going to have what we call a slip stitch. Normally when you're ending your work, they always tell you when you're like joining this work to this, some corners to another one. They will tell you to make a slip stitch. So I'm going to show you make a slip stitch. You see this hole here? We don't take it this way. We are going to pass here like this. Then we make our slip stitch. It goes through straight like this. We do it again. You see what I have? It passes here. And then it goes straight like that. Let's do it again. Like here again so we are going to take it to the end So this is what we have up to the end and this is how our slip stitch makes the work look like to see we are going to look what is called a front post and a back post we are going to combine them together we're going to look at both the front and the back post so we are going to you yarn over we are going to do a front post double crochet and a, a back post double crochet you yarn over like this then you pull through from here this is our front post again we are going to draw front post yarn over and then put in the middle of this double crochet and in the middle of the next one then you pull and yarn over that's our front post then for the back post we are just changing behind like it says from behind that's where we are pulling our double crochet from so that's a back post again yarn over pull from behind like this that's the back post let's do it again let's do the front post again front post like this 
then the back post like this again front post then the back post front post let's keep doing this in the back post then we are going to end from here so this is what we have so far then after here we are i'm going to show you how we make another stitch is called a back loop like you see we have this we've been like putting our hook here so if they tell you to use the back loop you're going to put your hook in the back chain like this use only one back chain not the both of them you just use the back loop like this so we are taking a single crochet in the back loop you look and see how it looks like let's take it again in the back loop So we have something like this which makes this kind of rage here so that's it for today thank you for being part of this don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed hit the notification bell in case I post any other video and give this video a thumbs up in case you like it if there is anything more that you would like this is your comment in the comment section. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much. God bless you.